with this video series is how to create a sacred painting practice, why you would want to, and how it can help you feel better right now. Today, I want to talk with you about freedom, how we can express freedom in our lives and figuring out how we can feel better right now. Right now, there's a lot of things happening in our world that doesn't feel good and that when I try to think about it, it drives me crazy. When I try to control it, it's uncontrollable. And the only thing that I can do personally is to make sure that I am taking good care of myself first. And I think that's my main message is that we all have to take good care of ourselves these days. I've been on a healing journey for um, ever since I, I left the nest, I, I've been on a healing journey to discover how I can express myself with my voice. I was quiet and mute, unable to express what was going on inside of me because I had no emotional IQ. I had no experience discussing my feelings or even admitting that I had feelings. I think that happens with a lot of us. We grow up with drama and trauma and surviving. That's the main thing. <laughs> when you're just surviving, you're not quite sure what's going to happen at each moment. It's very hard to have time to reflect and figure out what's actually going on inside of you. I was unable to really cry with any freedom because I thought every time I cried, I was going to die. And crying was a great sign of weakness. I was not going to let my emotions rule me. And it wasn't until my mom passed away in 2012 that I figured out I had no control over my emotions, <laughs> none whatsoever. And I was mortified. It was going from one painful moment to the next and really learning to navigate my emotions, letting it be okay when I was not feeling okay or when I felt like I needed to cry, like right now. <laughs> this is a topic that's near and dear to my heart that we each are able to express ourselves somehow. Somehow, some way. And uh, <sighs> that right there is a tool <laughs> I've, I've become very intimate with. And that is the ability to take a breath. Understanding that if I take a breath, I have a breath that I can give. My hope is that we can all take a breath, a collective breath, that society as a whole right now, uh, humanity as a whole right now can take a big breath and then let it out. When you take a breath in and you exhale it longer than you've inhaled, it's a signal to your body that you're safe and okay. And it lets your body go from red alert, which it's usually normally on, <laughs> to, you know, it's okay. It's okay. And my whole conversation with myself for the last, uh, yeah, it's been 10 years now almost, is that it's okay. And I'm okay. Right now, I'm okay. Even when I'm crying, I'm okay. Even when I'm feeling helpless or hopeless or in despair, it's okay. Because guess what? All those feelings will pass. There's a core of me. There's something more to me than just the tears that I'm shedding or the feelings that I'm having or the thoughts that I'm experiencing. I have feelings, but I'm not my feelings. And I have thoughts and I'm not my thoughts. And not every thought I think is true and not every feeling I feel is going to take me down or make me vulnerable. So what I've learned is that I need to allow myself to have all my feelings. And I also need to allow myself 
space and time to process those. So a beautiful way that I've discovered just in the last couple years to give myself some space and time is through a sacred painting practice, using the practice of putting paint to canvas as a meditation. It gives me space and time and pleasure and joy and freedom to explore my imagination and explore my feelings and explore my thoughts in an absolutely safe container. And so that's what I wanna share with you today is that feeling of safety, that feeling of making it be okay, that feeling that I can help myself feel better right now. I'm going to invite you to take a couple deep breaths with me right now. In through our nose. Pause with a feeling of gratefulness that we can take that breath in and that it is nourishing our bodies and minds. And then blowing it out. And if you want to make it even more powerful of a breath, I invite you to take it in, pause, and then, ah, uh, make a noise. <laughs> that noise is another signal, yet another way that your body says, ah, oh, I'm safe. I'm okay. I like to call it purring. <laughs> Whenever I have a problem or I'm feeling tight, I'm in resistance, I'm feeling stuck, upset. I remind myself to take a breath because I spent my whole life not breathing. I spent my whole life holding my breath. And I think many of us do when we are sufferers of a lot of trauma. And if that's helpful to you, I invite you to tune in to the next exercise and where we're gonna take this to pen and paper. Ah, just practicing the breath and practicing being and practicing feeling safe and practicing being better. Thanks for watching. <laughs>